Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and for Raiders rumors, news, and free gear, make sure you're subscribed to the Raiders Report. On today's show, I'm going to be giving away a free Raiders hat. And if you want that hat, you got to do two things. First, you got to hit the subscribe button because I'm only going to give it away to a, to a subscriber. We just crossed 40K, and I appreciate you all very, very much. So if you want that hat, I want you to start typing sub, okay? Because about, we'll say 10 minutes from now, I'm going to be giving away that hat. Sound good? Appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the show. I see Shelly. I see Andon. I see Raphael. I see a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Somebody says, this on loop. Gage Gaming for life. No, we are live, live, live. All right, I did get a super chat, though, rolling in here from Raphael. Raider Nation for life. He sent him the $20. Appreciate you. Um, if you want to ask me a question, <laughs> I guess you could try to get it in there, but I'll say this. Um, k rock a lot of people again twenty dollars is a truth you can ask me anything okay also to get your questions on the show use hashtag raiders got another super chat flown in here from sean forbes sean i love you too i love you mitch the show is keeping me sane with everything going on question you think the raiders could use Derek Carr as a trading tool on draft day to get more picks could they use them sure I think if the Raiders don't get a second round pick, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me. I don't think they get a first round pick, but if you could, it'd be something you would at least think about. Um, Sean, I don't know if you've been made the moderator yet, but whoever's controlling our YouTube channel right now, let's make Sean a moderator because he did send in that $50 super chat. Appreciate you. And guys, I, I'm stuck at home too. I'm doing this show to keep myself sane. So I like that's why I want people to come on and join the show. That's why I want people to subscribe. Because sometimes the best medicine in life is a little bit of laughter, a little bit of Raiders football, and man, fingers crossed that this doesn't impact our season. That's all I'm saying. So remember to use hashtag Raiders. Sean, appreciate you. And if you guys also want to get on the show, make sure that you're using hashtag Raiders. Tyler Dank, get a picture. Do you think a trade for Deshaun Watson is possible? I'll tell you what, if it is, Bill O'Brien is the guy to go pick on right now. I mean, the fact that Bill O'Brien traded away DeAndre Hopkins for a second-round pick is mind-blowing, right? Absolutely mind-blowing. But if Deshaun Watson wants to become a Raider, I love Derek and all. Derek's a great quarterback. Deshaun Watson is elite. Deshaun Watson is a top-three quarterback in this NFL. Um, if it costs two first-round picks for Watson, you guys might not like this. I would do it in a heartbeat. I think the Texans would laugh at us for only wanting two. But you're going to have to pay Deshaun Watson $40 million a year. So that's also something to think about. But uh, Deshaun, if you want to be a Raider, you let me know. Let's go to my man, Raphael. Raphael, does Cleveland Farrell pull his weight in 2020? I'm going to say yes. And I'm actually confident in saying yes because he was unhealthy at the start of the season. He actually had some concussion issues that really wasn't talked about all that much. But as you saw as the year went on, he started to grow into his own a little bit. And I also think this year there's going to be a little bit of pressure taken off him because now you got Max on one side. You went out and got Carl Nassib, who's really, really going to help the development of Cleveland Furl. I'm telling you right now, that's one of the reasons why they went out and got him from the Bucks. If I had to put a guess on sacks for Cleveland this year, I'm going to put it around seven. I think you're going to see a big-time difference from Cleveland, who's, again, we drafted him fourth overall. I did think it was a little bit early. But he's a very, very smart player. He's going to start putting it together. Jeff, my man, you got a new picture. I love it. It's a Raiders against the world shirt, I think is what it is. It's hard for me to see. What's the word on the health of JJ and Abrams? So first, we'll start with Jonathan Abram. Um, he's good to go. He's going to be fine for hopefully week one once that ever happens. I will say this. If you guys want a rumor that I've never talked about, I'm pretty confident the very first game of the NFL is going to be Raiders versus Buccaneers, Thursday night football, John Gruden's old team against Tom Brady, tuck rule, tuck him, and then J.J. I'm guessing you mean J.J. Nelson would be the only player I could think of, but uh, if it's not the right guy, give me, give me some updates there. So not quite sure. All right, if you guys want to get on the show, two ways to do it. Use hashtag Raiders or... You can super chat. So $20 super chat equals you can ask me anything plus the Raiders question. And I mean literally anything. $50, you become the moderator. So you can kind of uh, control what shows up in the chat below. 
and then 100 you come on the show. So what does that mean? $100 Super Chat, you come on the show with me, and then while we're doing the live Q&A, JJ is Josh Jacobs. Oh, that's embarrassing. So Josh Jacobs, he's also going to be good. Shoulder injury, I know. <laughs> I was like, Josh, just say Josh Jacobs next time. Um, my bad. All right, back to it. $100, you come on the show with me next week, okay? So I'll give you, a, I'll DM you on Instagram, and then basically we'll do a live Q&A just like this. I'll answer questions. You answer questions. We'll have a good time. That's basically how it goes. $100 super chat. Let's go to Corey. What up, Corey? Get a pick. Do you think Arden Key can play linebacker if he can't keep his weight at 270, 275? Um, do I think he can play linebacker? He's. I think he's going to have to try because defensive end at this point is not really working out for Arden. And I'm a little bit worried because I think if you cut Arden Key, you save 400 and like 18K off the top of my head. You still got to pay him 500. But Arden was a project. He's just not putting it together. And he started to kind of put it together last year. Unfortunately, though, he got banged up. And I'm starting to worry if the Raiders are just going to be like, hey, man, we got to move on. So Arden, I hope you step up. I hope you play because it is just win, baby. Let's go to Daryl. What up, Daryl? Appreciate you. Use hashtag Raiders. Will we trade Carrier? Will we try to trade Carrier? Sure. However, I don't really think many teams are going to be going after Derek Carrier. It's why I talked about him being a potential cut. You go out, you bring in Nick O'Leary. You go out, you sign Jason Witten. Foster Moreau is one of our most talented players last year at the rookie position, or at the tight end position, being a rookie. Right now, Derek Carrier is our fourth tight end. You're going to have to pay him $1.85 million. If you cut him, you know, you save all that money. Sure, if we can trade him, great. Unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be able to trade Derek Carrier. Now, if you guys are looking for a new hat, I want you to listen up, okay? If you want the hat that is shown on screen, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat five, okay? That hat is $17.49. If you can't remember it, I'll put it in the description. We'll put it in the comments section. If you're like, Mitch, I want a flat bill. Got you covered. If you want the flat bill hat that you see on screen for $26.59, it's chatsports.com slash Raiders hat four okay in the description in the comments below and um this deal i think for both of those hats okay go take advantage of them because if you're watching this live they'll be cheaper than if you watch it maybe on saturday or sunday just a heads up so go ahead get that hat up to 60 percent off both of them curved or flat i also see a lot of people typing sub we're getting to the giveaway we're getting to it chris smith do we sign dre fitzpatrick I think before I was getting ready to come on the show, there was some news that came out about Dre Fitzpatrick. Let me see. He could be an option, so he's still out there. I see right now the most recent news is the Dolphins. They're showing some interest interest in him. Obviously, the reason why Dre Fitzpatrick would be, a, or Kirk Patrick would be an interesting fit with us would be the, the connection with Paul Gunther. My only thing, though, is like, I'm starting to wonder if the Raiders are going to try to get away from bringing in players that fit that Paul Gunther scheme because from what I've heard, it's very confusing. And from what I've seen, it's very confusing. So don't be surprised if Paul Gunther kind of gets the boot. But I mean, Dre's obviously talented. So I think at this point, we need to be able to add as many able bodies as humanly possible and, uh, you know, add a little bit more depth there to that defense. So, but appreciate the question. Remember to use hashtag Raiders to get them on the screen. Let's go to my man, Jeffrey Locke. If Akuda did fall to us, <laughs> do you think we take him or still go wide receiver? If Jeffrey Akuda fell to pick 12, the Raiders would literally stomp their way. They would figure out a way to go up to the podium. Like, there's no live NFL draft. They'd figure out a way because I love CeeDee Lamb, love Jerry Judy, love Henry Ruggs. If we got Jeff Akuda at pick 12, they, he, they would take Akuda over all those players. He's, he's just that much of a freak. I think he's going to be, you're going to see in like two years from now, he's going to be one of the top corners in the NFL. He's going to be in the same conversation as like a Darius Slay, a Jalen Ramsey. He's just that good. So, yeah, I, I appreciate the question. Also, it's a phenomenal beard. Phenomenal. Let's go to Zach. What up, Zach? Make sure that you're using hashtag Raiders or again, you can super chat to get on the show. So, what do we got? Mitch, what's our record for next year? I say 10 and 6. So 
I got people yelled at me because I was like, uh, I said that our record was going to be nine and seven at this point. I don't know what the moves the Raiders have made, but let's say this. If the Raiders have as good of a draft as what they had last year, we're a 10 and six football team this year. Heck, could even be 11 and five. So I trust Mike Mayock. I trust John Gruden. I think they're doing all the right things. I see Todd Stewart. He says 11 and five. If you guys want to get your predictions in, I'll give some shout outs here. I see Andon Coward says 10 and six. K. Jordan says 11 and five. That's Jacob Serb. My bad. Jess Herbert says 11 and five. I see a 12 and four. Somebody said 16 and 0. Technically, the correct answer is 19 and 0. I'm just saying. All right. I promised you guys a giveaway. You ready? We're going to get loose for this. Y'all ready for this? Okay. So, if you love Raiders rumors, news, and free gear, two things. Subscribe to the show and type sub. So, basically, what's going to happen is if you type sub, we're going to pick a random winner. We'll get the random winner's name. We'll get his avatar or her. We'll put it up on screen. And then you're going to have 24 hours to DM me on Instagram at MitchellRen365 and claim your prize. Does that sound good? So, type sub if you want the hat. I mentioned the Raider, only Raider Nation hat, or only one nation. Can I show it up on screen real quick? What does it look like? Okay, so if you want this hat, I want you to type sub. We're going to give it away here in just a few seconds. Once we get the winner, once we get it picked, once we get the graphics made, we'll put you up on screen. We got one, only one nation hat. And then coming up here in a little bit, if you don't get it, we're going to be giving away an only one nation shirt. So I'm getting word in my ear that uh, we're getting close to getting a winner. I think we got one. So the winner of the only one nation hat is Cali King. Appreciate Cali King. Uh, I know he's been one of our subscribers for a very, very long time. And if you didn't win the hat, again, I'm going to be giving away the t-shirt that you see on my body. Well, not literally the one I'm wearing. You get a brand new one coming up here in a little bit as well. So Cali King, message me on Instagram at MitchellRens365. To go claim your prize, you got 24 hours. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.